all started two years ago before the pandemic when Expo 2020 had this vision of collaborating with Air Rahman and having a studio in the region. And then Rahman suggested my company Modi Digital to be the design, design custodians and designers of this facility. Of course, it was a large, huge challenge, uh, but one that was very excited to take on. And then Rahman gave me his concept of what he would like uh, this place to be. And then along with Expo, we had a lot of uh, interaction, I'd fly in every week, and then we would present each phase of our design and see how we could best execute them. And uh, finally, with Expo's uh, excellent support, and they had their contractors, we were able to achieve a specific design direction. They wanted to also and give a huge platform to women in the region and they created a sort of a cousin project called Fidos Orchestra. And this is the first all-women orchestra in, in this region. Mr. Rahman's original concept and vision behind the studio was to have, be one with nature, to have a sort of seamless integration between the outside world and the inside world. So we have these beautiful gardens and we have this sort of vision panel that looks into the studio, gives an uh, interactive experience for those who want to look, at, have a peek at what goes on behind the scenes while people are making music. It's, it's quite an extensively designed studio, both acoustically and technologically. The studio can be used as a straightforward recording studio when there's a large orchestral hall, there's a big control room, and we could have any amount of musicians playing at the same time. But you could also use the studio as a cinema sort of preview room. So we have 4K projection in the same orchestral hall. You have, we have a Dolby Atmos playback system and people could actually watch uh, the project that they have just finished working on. So there are many formats and the whole studio is quite integrated with the Dante uh, network so that you could really patch anything from anywhere and get various modes happening. We have multiple workstations, uh, Avid Pro Tools. You could pull up any of those Pro Tools in any screen, in any room, uh, and record from anywhere. So it's quite well networked in that way. Uh, both audio and the visual and the screens are quite well networked and very extremely flexible to be able to choose which mode of work each client would like. Also, we've chosen industry standard equipment like the Avid, so that no matter who comes in, no matter which client comes in, they're able to uh, you know, be comfortable in that environment. We have also picked quite a few really boutique mic preamps from Neve. We have the 5088, and we've built a very hybrid console. So there's a 5088 and then there's an Avid S6 all at once. We have a great collection of microphones. Both our rooms, the orchestral room and the control room, both have Dolby Atmos enabled in them. We have these pan tilt zoom cameras in every room that all goes into a NDI switcher. And this enables anybody from any room to see each other. So even if you don't have a direct uh, vision, you could pull up these cameras and look at the artists, look at what's happening in each room. Due to the Dante network that we have, we could really push audio from any point of this facility and it can reach any other point in, within the facility. So we're also capable of doing live streaming. So we have this whole TriCaster system, which you can live stream whatever's happening. You can live stream a concert or the recording itself to any location you want. Avid is the base for recording, for mixing, and Dante is the main platform on which the whole studio runs. Uh, of course, we use a lot of Shure microphones, uh, both for the live situation as well as uh, recordings. In fact, we have a quite a unique talkback, which probably, I, I don't think any studio has the Shure Dante as a talkback, so we could talk back from different positions at the same time. And also the scoring stage, I think again this is very unique, is to have show lights uh, by Ayrton in the scoring stage. I haven't personally seen any other studio with 
uh, colorful lights and that really gets creative juices flowing. As a PA, we have this Bose system that's on wheels that comes into the room whenever we require and then we push it out. Uh, so all these systems from NMK, NMK has been really good in helping us, hand-holding us through the design process, solving each of our problems very easily. They've been great. They, they go out of the way um, to make this studio happen. I'm an audio solution specialist with Avid. We are here at Firdo Studio by A.R. Rahman at Expo 2020. Now, this is actually an incredibly complex and a very unique studio that has been built. I mean, we're so proud of this as well. It's got incredible engineers, uh, and the studio is always built upon the people that are there. So when the concept of the studio came uh, between Aditya Modi, who designed uh, the entire workflow and the entire studio premise as well, it was very interesting because it was all about ideas and what do you want to achieve and how do you want to achieve it. So a lot of the ideas and a lot of the workflows and a lot of the, uh, the subtle shifts that happen within the workflows as well were all done on, on an Avid ecosystem. So there are two MTRXs, uh, there's a beautiful 32 Fader S6, uh, there's Mike Priest from On The Matrix, there's Dante, there's Network, um, and all of this is also integrated into this beautiful room, which also supports Dolby Atmos, 7.1, 5.1, multiple stereo monitoring systems, and not only here, as well as the large room downstairs, where they can shift into another Atmos monitoring format, which is 9.1.6. And all of this is, is controlled from the matrix itself. So all of the speaker calibrations, all of the mic pre's, um, they all come on, on the matrix as well. And what's also very unique about this space is it's also a hybrid workflow, where you have the S6 and the Neve as well. Uh, it's quite beautiful to see this in, in action as well. In terms of what we had to do to solve a lot of these very unique challenges. Multiple points of talkback is a very interesting thing. And when Adi bought this up, we had to really figure out a solution that works in this whole scenario as well, because you have different rooms that can be accessed at any point and when they, whenever they're recording artists, and it has to be seamless, it has to be uh, uh, very helpful for the engineers as well, because even though it's a very complex, um, method or uh, a very complex scenario that is there it's actually going to be quite easy for the engineers as well because the engineers have to manage not only the recording and the technical part of this but they're also artists they have to manage the artists they have to manage the creativity that is there there's a lot of recording that happens as mix as well so it's it's a proper blend of everything and much more that is technical and that is artistic as well so from the get-go, Avid was there as the center of this whole ecosystem, um, especially in conjunction with Dolby Atmos workflows. Uh, we helped design all of their interconnectivity um, and the way this works with the console, the way you have a hybrid workflow, the way you record, the way you mix and the way you play back and the way you monitor multiple formats as well. This room is pretty interesting. It's got three Pro Tools Ultimate systems. There are two of them here, one of them on the back. Um, you can record, mix and uh, produce as well. This is all incredibly visualized by, um, by none other than A.R. Rahman uh, and what's beautiful about this is all that he has is, is incredible ideas and what Avid as an ecosystem does is, uh, is get those ideas to work. The studio is also really unique in the way it functions. For example, what you're looking at here is a hybrid workflow. So you have an S6 with the Neve which is in a custom built chassis as well. What's really beautiful about this is because the S6 is completely modular, you can actually design them. What Firdos did is, Firdos actually designed their own chassis with the help of Sounds Fishy. And this whole thing has been integrated within that in a way that the engineers find it comfortable to sit in the sweet spot and mix and track and record and also listen to all of those feedbacks as well. Um, so that's something which is very unique and quite very well achieved, I would say. Live events have had a huge impact in the last two years due to the pandemic. However, Expo 2020 is that beacon of hope for musicians from near and far, where they've come to perform in light of all the events that are happening here. The Ferdao Studio, which is in the Expo site, is a perfect opportunity for musicians to get back in the studio. The Ferdao Studio has an impressive amount of inventory, making it one of the best options for musicians to come and mix, record, and do more things here than they have ever had to do in the last two years. The facility is specked out with all the best that Shore has to offer, 
from our ULXD wireless microphones, PSM1000 in-ear monitors, and a whole bunch of wired microphones that have become standard in any studio around the globe. We are at the place where the magic happens. We are at the control room of Firdos Studio. Every room has unlimited audio inputs. You can plug in and interface into any room, including the cafeteria and record from there. Uh, so our primary system, a core of the entire studio is running on two MTRX boxes from Avid. We literally have all our channels patching into that into Pro Tools or Logic or any law of your choice. Here we have a Neve 5088, is in a hybrid configuration. We, we can talk to each other through HUI or Yukon and all of them have complete recallability. We have a total of 204 microphone inputs in the building and these microphone inputs are not just limited to like the scoring stage or the ISO booths. These microphones can be plugged into any room in any of any the entire facility. In this facility, we have the Shure P300 and MXA310 talkback system. We have positioned multiple MXA310s in different parts of the building, which acts as our talkback cues. So if an artist wants to walk into any room and wants to talk to another person, we can just plug in that microphone, which is movable, into any port on the wall and it acts as a talkback mic for them. We also have a hearback system in the facility where any artist can come in and do their own headphone mixes which makes them really comfortable and they don't have to depend on somebody on in the control room for them to do any, even min any minute changes they need. We also have a great lighting system which lets us set up lightings for recordings, performances. These lightings really help artists get inspired by the ambience of the studio which is not very common in studio because it's usually just a white light or a yellow light in a building. So we can literally modify the shape, the color and the mood of the artist in the end of the day. That's really what drives the artist to give their best. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about the gear in here and why I think the studio is very incredible. So. We have a lot of different vendors here, like a lot of different audio companies all around the studio. And one of our primary ones is Avid, Dolby Atmos, as far as mixing here in the control room. So for me personally, I'm a film score mixer. I also like mixing bands and production, and I also do Dolby Atmos mixing. And so the studio having the ability to like use the S6 to like control stuff uh, like our faders, our tracks is really, really important and actually really efficient when we're doing the mixes as we've been doing here already. So sessions that get that big are really hard to kind of manage sometimes. Uh, Matrix currently, which is our interface and basically our internal patch system for the studio. Uh, this studio is extremely uh, deep as far as routing goes with Dante, with analog and digital. It's really quick to switch to mixing to Atmos, to recording, to mixing just smaller sessions really quickly in the studio, like the Avid Matrix, being able to switch sample rates, uh, switch to different formats of audio, which is really beneficial and actually not something you find in most studios these days. Um, that's kind of changing, but this is the only studio I've ever really been in that's, you know, for film studios, they have matrixes and they have all this routing, but that's mainly for film. So it's mainly for movies and for like big dub stages where they're actually mixing everything. And then a lot of studios commonly will have large format consoles, but they won't necessarily go to surround or to Atmos because mainly most of their gear is analog, so they're listening to only stereo. I would encourage all kinds of people to come here and work, uh, obviously for all of the gear here, but also the vibe, like the lighting in the live room has already been a really big uh, asset. The lighting in the live room is beautiful for video and it's also really beautiful for just general vibe. So we've already had sessions where artists will sit at the piano and we'll do live recordings, so we'll like, set up a Shure SM7 on the piano and then we'll put some condensers and we'll get, you know, we'll capture live and we'll capture real, like really incredible cinematography of them. So I say that's a huge benefit for artists coming. project that was worked really closely uh, with all the stakeholders and AVISPL, our partner, to do the integration aspect of the project. 
Some of the most exciting technology was put into this uh, studio and, and technologically advanced to make it a world-class facility for the years to come and the artists to go in and make magic.